If you guys have any questions about Nivilet, you can ask them. We're, we're going to do an unofficial Ask the Jeff. Or I just answer you. I, I just answer your questions about him. Is Nivilet the best husband in the game? I mean... If you actually marry Nevilet, one of two things will happen, all right? Because he's going to live for very long, which means that he will see you die. Either it will make him incredibly sad, and you will have caused him decades, if not centuries, of sorrow, or he won't, which means that you didn't mean anything to him. I feel like either way, it's not really winnable. I don't think Nivilet would make for a good husband, no. Does he still feel fun to play to me? That's a good question. I feel like in some ways, yes, and in some ways, no. Um. The pleasure is all mine. Like the... I don't know how to explain it, honestly. Sometimes it just feels kind of boring. Because you're only pressing one button and then you're just waiting, you know? And it's kind of just like, okay, well, what now? Do you think people overhype him too much? Yes and no. Um, I think people overestimate how much damage he's doing. Or how much damage his teams are doing. But the reason for that is because it's a lot easier than other teams to get that damage. Right? And so for a lot of people who aren't playing any of their teams optimally, which is the majority of people at the end of the day, they will notice a difference even if, if they were playing better, there wouldn't be one. Right? And it's something I talked about earlier or a, a, a few a few weeks ago I think that there is an argument to be made that Nevilet is an instance of power creep but it's more so just a quote unquote power creep of how easy it is to do your damage not necessarily how much damage you're doing but like his damage is still very good right like he's the way that he's balanced, right? Or, yeah. The the way that his kid is, like, designed is a unit for which it's as easy as it is for him to get all of their damage out and who can consolidate AoE as well as he can, as easily as he can, shouldn't be doing at ceiling the same damage as other teams. They should be doing less. And he's not doing less. Right? The beam should have had damage fall off. Technically it does. Right? It's just barely any... <laughs> barely noticeable. Right? Technically you lose a little bit of this passive towards the end of your charge attack. But it barely matters. But yeah, another really nice upside for him is how versatile his team building is. Right? It's like, he has all of the... Like, outside of his actual damage, he has all of the things that characters want, right? He has good range, good AoE, he's really easy to consolidate, he's very mobile, his teams are flexible, and he... Like... You don't really get punished too much when you fuck up. And then on top of that... He, he's not paying any damage for all of those quality of life upsides, right? Only bad part is that he's not normal attacking, so there's stuff he doesn't synergize with. Yeah, that's fair. I'm a big fan of Albedo's character, regardless of not being meta. But what teams can you recommend outside of Moto Geo? It depends on how dank you want to get. Um, <laughs> I... A few of the, of the Albedo teams that are very much not meta Albedo teams, but that are actually playable and really fun... Um, you can do fully M Albedo, 
Burgeon, right? So Albedo, Bennett, Nahida, Singto, if you have C6 Bennett. And you get some crystallizes, and it's really funny. And when you're playing against enemies, like, what's like, like Vivian and Ninian, right? Enemies that have a, a self aura, a permanent self aura of the same element as the one that they deal damage, your sh crystallized shields are actually fucking massive. Like, you will not die. <laughs> Try to get our burst back real quick. Okay, I didn't mean to do that, and you 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 know that. Right, like I don't I don't have to dodge. I don't take any damage, <laughs> and it's very funny. I don't have enough ER because I'm not rocking the, the sack right now, but... I'm gonna try to just not move. Yeah, see? Like, it's not even breaking through my... I I'm standing in Bennett Burst. I guess I'm not actually applying, but whatever. It's not even breaking through my fucking... Through my fucking crystallized shields. <laughs> right, so it's very funny against stuff like that. And stuff not like that, you still are actually somewhat or very tanky. Because you're generating shields very often and you have Bennett healing and Sing So damage reduction. But obviously it's not a great team for damage. But if you like Albedo's attack animations, you want to actually play him on field, it is one of the ways you can play him. The Temple of Wisdom. First four. Ring cutter. Huh? Oh, teamwork is dream work. Huh. 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 Coming to be. Feel this ancient power. Huh. Huh. And it is enough to clear stuff, right? Even if it's not great. Let's try to push her forward a little bit. Burst forward. Let me leave you a No, my sword. Everybody stand back. Share my knowledge. Witness my great undertaking. But like in AoE, you actually do get like somewhat reasonable damage because you're playing Burgeon with a way to weaken the Burning Aura with Albedo. Like this is still reasonable clear time. It's not great, but it's very reasonable. And then the other way outside of Geo that you can play him is you can play him with Xianyun. Again, with C6 Bennett. It's kind of just C6 Bennett, you know? But it is what it is, you know? Vermilion. Fuck. It didn't work. Maybe I just need to be like Xyrox. It's so hard to die in here, man. How does he do it? Oh, shit. I dodged my reflex. Fuck. It's fine. I won't dodge this time. There it is. Oh, chat! That, 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 why did my brother... Get, uh, take my, my PC! 
Um, um, there, there was, someone else was playing. Um, uh, I, uh, um, Um... Oh my god! Uh... Easy, I've never died once. Zero death streamer. Zero death streamer. Oh my god! Oh my god! No, it didn't work. It didn't work. I tried, okay? I tried. I I did my best, okay? Would you say Xiao is one of the best DPSs now that he has Shen Yun? Um Yes and no. Like, again, right? If you don't have C6 Ferris on, he's just kinda eh. One plunge. Oh. Hell yeah. The grass started burning, so I'm not melting anymore. That way it's gonna take a bit more plunges. Let's fucking go. Woohoo! Yeah, I think that Xiao's weakness for the longest time has been that Ferrazon C6 is hard to obtain because she's not on his banners. I, like, yes, Shannon helped him. But I feel like Farazon on a banner, on a support that you want for Xiao, it helps him basically as much. 